my silence I can hear you But I'm afraid to be near you And I don't know Where to begin And I don't know Where to begin Somewhere in the desert There's a forest And an acre before us But I don't know where to begin But I don't know Where to begin Again I lost my strength completely Oh be near me Tired old mare With the wind in your hair been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Hmm. Looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? So cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. My brain waves can activate the monitor. Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. <sighs> right? 
At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. So glad I did my hang with homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Man, I wanted to go to that, but dad had to watch the playoffs. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <sighs> Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, snowmancer. Chris. Breakfast. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Well, this is a first. I didn't have to tell you twice. The food smelled good. But you know how to work the ref. I think the eggs turned out all right. Well, salt is a secret. Uh, you let me know. Pour yourself some milk, okay? <sighs> milk mission accomplished. Breakfast of champions. <sighs> What'd you expect, a waffle? I just like sunny side up. Like mom used to make. <sighs> yeah. Me too. But that's not gonna happen. I know. You can't keep saying, Mom used to do this or that. 
I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay? Yeah. Okay. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. I, I don't drink that much. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I... That, that you got hurt. It's not that bad. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Won't bother you anymore. So... So you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Drink up. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Still in progress. There's my hot dog, man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best Dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo-choo. Oh, those are Dad's pages. We need a pin code. What is it? There's my... Oh, those are dad's pages. Oh, cheap shot. I'm going down. You can't kill the zombie jock. No way. That was a headshot. I am a super zombie. Well, I'm a superhero. Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. I wish this has to be Mom's. She liked art. God damn, you're on fire. Hmm, let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? I think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Why is the microwave beeping, kiddo? Did you use it? Dad loves his dad notebooks. What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes! That was a goddamn carry! Chris, the microwave is ready. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Dad never smiles like that anymore. If I could Come go on, back Chris, in time, stop that noise. I'd go see him play. Dad was so popular. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her.
light on. Yes! I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Care full of booby traps. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Oh my God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way. And that is how you shoot the ball. On fire, on now I must explore without being discovered. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. What if I had real superpowers? I could protect the whole town. Only the new magnetic waves of my cleaning machine can save these pants now. Chris, the food is done. Hey, can you get that? Chris, answer the phone, please. Seek the magic key to unlock the portal to another dimension. Dude, the freaking key should be inside the house. Extra bonus points unlocked. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. I can't wait to get a real pine tree this Christmas, like we used to with Mom. Oh, 
no snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. You don't hear the phone ringing off the hook? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Ooh, pizza. Buongiorno, Bava's Pizzeria is closed, but if you can wait, our business hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for Augusto, please do so. Pizza? Ciao. You better not be making any prank calls. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. This is Chris. C Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yes, well, everything's great. I just want to see if maybe Steven could help me add more stuff to the treehouse, like when he helped Dad build it. I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, I'll be happy to let Steven know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. Gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. Who do you mean? Chris, I told you before that's not a toy. Now hang up. Boring. Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Hmm. A wee bit cold, but... This will definitely work.
Maybe Dad would want to watch an anime instead. Hey. No. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses, for once. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. Yep. Me too. So, when do you think we'll go get the pine tree? I told you, right after the game. You're not gonna bug me all day, right? No. Sorry. You should see the basketball games for the play box. Gee, Chris, maybe Santa will bring you one. Unless you keep bugging him about it. I wasn't... I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I was just I know just what you're saying, saying, and we're done talking about it, okay? Okay. I was just... Nothing. Did you and Mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh, actually, she wasn't a big sports fan. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills, right? I get confused by basketball rules. It's like math, you know, but fun. You just have to start watching more games. Maybe we can get a basketball video game and play together. That's not exactly how you learn to play, but it's a start. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like 10 feet tall? Only if you cut one down, Viking. We might need a bigger castle, too. <laughs> Let's see. What do we need? I've never seen a beaver around here. Mm -mm, I feel the power. Hmm. That has a secret. I hope I set this right. Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Don't ask for a race. Yes, I love a dunk. Welcome to Kitty Club. Meow. Odessa speaking. Oh. Hi? You sound like you're looking for a kitty cat tonight. Mm. Uh, my dad won't let me have a cat, but I would love... Your dad? What? Christ, who is this? How old are you? 
Hello? No, no, no! That noise. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. I can even paint my costume once I make it. Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. <laughs> now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. This is where Mom went to school before we came. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already in a mate. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom... I don't get this one. I'm too young. I can't go anywhere without the keys. No way. Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. That's how it's done, yes! Ugh, I hate that beer can smell.
We never use this door in winter because of the snow. There, I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo. Oh, those are Dad's pages. There. Oh, those are dad's pages. I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. Sorry, pop, it's war. I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. That looks scary. I should read that. I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero shave? Geez, where's the heat? I bet the water ears sleeping again. I feel naked without my costume. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get, man. I love this issue. Wish I could draw like this. No diving today, Nemo. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween.
goodbye log. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this! <laughs> ah. Ooh! <laughs> you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit. Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Playtime all the time. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. They're naked? Whoa. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Dad was so angry at the police. Jeez, Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Gross, wonder what they taste like.
I love listening to mom's old records. If I had you here, bring our hair together. I'd be boy and you be. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... Dad! Uh... Uh... Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Gee, that's a lot of beer. Uh, no. Yeah. Dad had a party for the game. Really? I didn't see any cars in the driveway or people. Must have been a good game. Anyway, how are you, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just... Just? Just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I was going for a nice walk, and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Dad just tripped and fell. But he's okay. Sounds like he tripped over a whole bunch of beer cans, right? Okay, Chris. I think I've heard enough. I'm going to talk to Stephen about this, and we'll be back to chat with your father. Wait, you don't... Please. Listen, I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? We want to help. You're not in trouble. You haven't done anything. Just stay put, and we'll come by in a little bit. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. <sighs> oh, you wanted to tell her that I gave you the bruises, no, huh? No, I didn't say anything. I swear. Uh, you want to blame me for everything? Is that what you want, huh? 
Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. Just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! 